this entire tract is 37, 37 and a half acres. The proposed zoning is not to rezone the entire property. Approximately 14 acres, 13.9. It limits the uh, units per acre to 24. There is no subsidized housing proposed for this complex. Our intent is to stay in the property and build a what we would call luxury product because we want it to affect the retail that we're going to be selling the southern 25 acres. We want it to be high-end retail. So we want the demographic to support the high-end retail that will be south of us. I'm a North Fort Worth resident too, just up the road, uh, so I feel your pain, trust me, in terms of transportation. This area is particularly uh, congested. Nobody nobody noticed these two children walking and one of them got hit and killed. And and so we, like I said, we have some so there, was a, there was a middle school student that was killed right in front of the pond. Oh, there we go. Um, so walking, because there's no sidewalk. So, so for instance, if, if this if this project came in and just as it is right now today, there would be transportation impact fees generated. Yes, we, we appreciate the frustration you guys would probably even have of paying these fees, and all of us ought to be concerned that that money's not going to come back. We just haven't seen it. Don, how many years you've been here? Fifteen years. And look at the rotten mess we still have. When I moved in here first in 2003, we were promised those bike lanes, we were promised this, we were promised trees down, we were promised everything in the world, and we got zip. Zip. Where are all these funds from these previous projects that didn't get developed here? Where did they go, and how are you saying that it can be done with your project? You know, getting something on the bond election that at least, if it's not the full build out, at least a portion of it, is the first step. And the second step is you've got a TIF that covers at least half of the road. Uh, I'm not saying that they can pay a dime for it, uh, but um, it is something to investigate for this area. Two tries for an overburdened hospital right now that we pay taxes on to get them to get us more beds. And now you're going to say that they're going to listen to a neighborhood, a small neighborhood that's growing. It's not that simple. How would you feel if if, 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 your bu if your kids were on the bus for an hour, okay, or a parent would had to take two hours, right, out of, their, out of their work week to make sure that their child was safely transported. I just know that my daughter just started Perry Vista, the middle school, and she's been late a whole hour. Like, she's supposed to call me when she gets to school, and they've had to turn around, like, go get more kids. They can't even make it to school on their bus without dropping kids off and coming back to get them sometimes can take 45 minutes from Ridgeview Farms to Comanche Springs in the mornings. 45 well, minutes. Well, that's why I put her on Which the bus. Which is why we I ride the bus. I used to take her. I used to right. take her to school. So if you add I'm another to work however now. many hundred of children and a apartment complex that are probably going to need to ride the bus, mm -hmm. it's going to cause all kinds of problems. Because they already go so early. They the elementary schools are 640. Mm -hmm. School doesn't start until 740. So I take my son to school, but now I've told him, sorry, you have to ride. You have to ride for seven minutes to school because I can't leave. I can't be late to work. There's there's very little infrastructure right now for the, the single family homes that are being built. We're reaching a critical mass point, and that's why you're getting a lot of resistance on high density multifamily up here. I feel like we pay our share, fair share of taxes. I saw today, and you tell me if I'm wrong, I saw over five years ago that that land over there was appraised at $125,000. Uh, is that right? And I maybe saw the where, ag value. Maybe it was. Uh, that does not seem right. And I saw today where it is now praised at like 1.1 or 1.2 million dollars. And when I saw that, I thought, how in the world could that be land be appraised at only 1.1 or 1.2? Because if it is, that land is not paying its fair share of taxes out here to help us get things done. Well, it is currently in ag status, so. We're only paying a small piece wow. of the property tax right now. Once it gets developed, then there's a rollback tax. Even though it's zoned commercial, pay, Correct. You're, it, you're paying taxes at the, an ag rate? Just the use dictates wow. the taxes. Boy, we should all be so lucky. But now once we start development, then we get rolled back five years. We have to pay five years. What other projects have you looked at that you can make a, a reasonable profit? and and? What, what other what, what other ideas have you come up with to use that land, whether it be commercial? Have you have you looked at subdividing these lots and building single family residences or townhomes that would would still garner? Uh, I mean, home values are going up. Um, the margins of, for home builders are very good right now. Um, there's a need for that. There's 
there's there's obviously a shortage in housing in in Tarrant County in De in DFW in general. Um, have you looked at that? Is that is that a profitable I mean venture for you? Yeah. Well, we're open to different types of uses like that. Okay. We just we studied the market. We felt like this was the right use for the property, and we can look at other uses, but we just. We feel like this is the right use. Would you be open to the possibility of asking for a rescheduling of the case into August so we can get together? We could probably help you help get you there. Because if you understand that there are certain things you think we might not need, but we actually say, yes, we do, that might help you out. And still, you know, can, can hit your margins where you, where you need them to be. Are you open to that? Yeah, we're definitely open to that. I mean, we appreciate everyone's input. And you guys know the needs of the neighborhood a lot better than we do. So we're definitely open to that. To, that so continued into August? Is that? Let's do that. So, possible progress. And it's because people listen when we raise our voices with our anti-rezoning petitions. The landowners also agreed to talk to surrounding school districts and the city of Fort Worth to figure out how to get our grievances addressed. They also promised to put in writing that any apartments would never become subsidized housing. To be continued.